In this lesson, fifth grade teacher Paige Polite uses the creative movement strategy for students to explore various animal movements. Now, you have heard me say that there was a philosopher long, long, long time ago. His name was Aristotle. And Aristotle is the first human being that we know of that classified animals in a written down, scientific, recorded manner. We're going to take a huge step back in time today, and we're going to go back into Aristotle's time. And we're going to have a uh, classifying activity where, here's a surprise, you're all going to be a bunch of animals, except for two scientists. In a role play format, two students become scientists. In the manner of Aristotle, the scientist's job is to observe and classify the animals according to their movements. Think of yourself in relation to other animals. Also think about the way your body is going to move, what shape you're going to make your body. Are you going to stay in one spot or are you going to continue to move? Okay? And your job is just to move about the room acting like you are that animal. And you're going to do that until my scientist friends come over and tap you and they're going to direct you to part of their zoo. And it's up to you how you want to classify them. Say that there's a bunch of jumpy things and you want to put the jumpy things together because you're only separating them based on how they move. Okay? Paige coaches students as they are creating animal movements. Her coaching helps them to more clearly incorporate what they know about the elements of dance and the concepts of science. Movement and drama experiences engage students in deeper exploration of the science content they are studying. The latest brain research emphasizes that movement helps to cement students' learning and helps them to recall and use what they know.